Hello, my name is Ruth Walker and it's my role at Sims to help you get better use out of the software that you have in school and consequently make better use of the investment that you've already made. Today we're going to be looking at adding behaviour from the register by the classroom staff. A very quick and easy way for them to be able to do this and of course a consistent mechanism for recording that information. Obviously once it's in the system you have the added benefit then of having that available as a school to report and analyse on that data. Here's how it works from a teacher's perspective. Many of you are already using Sims in the classroom to promote school improvement and of course for actually using and adding lesson registration. So this view should be familiar to you. Now if you right click on a name what you see is that you have the ability to add achievement and behaviour. Focusing on the behaviour you'll see that this is not the complete list of activities that you have listed in the software, just a subset of activities that you wish classroom based staff to record. This makes it faster and easier to, to log items that don't require further action or additional note taking, which of course you can actually do later on. You can even add activities for the whole class using the shift and arrow buttons or a smaller number of children using the control and mouse clicks. Of course the activity will be now displayed on the individual child's record. So if we come back to Jacob and go into behaviour management here, you'll see that act of defiance that has been recorded that we've just recorded on the register. This data of course is now also in the system which means it's available uh, from elsewhere, from the home page on our behaviour incident panel on instance for today. We actually see that Jacob now appears there, his act of defiance and indeed in any of the management reports that we might actually be running that incident will now be available for there as well. There is a small amount of setting up so let's take a look at that now. Under tools, setups, behaviour type, what you'll see now is the full list of all of the activities that you have in the system and the column to include the register, the no's and yeses that are there and the simple register toggle button which makes certain activities available or not. And it's that easy. So fast and efficient recording of behaviour into the register. So I hope that's been a useful mechanism for you in terms of adding that uh, behaviour information. Remember of course that you can add achievement information there too and we should hopefully use both the carrot and the stick. Hope to see you next time.